Knife Dope. More dope. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of dope. Knife dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Got one today that is a uh, first for me and a first for the channel. Got a knife that is coming from a company that I have not really been uh, really been interested in. However, it is American company, so that always interests me. Uh, primarily, just because what they've uh, what we've um, you know, what we've known them for, what they've been known for, has been a uh, piece of the community that I'm really not into, which is autos. You know, I have one auto, uh, which at this point in time. I am totally content with. It is an American-made auto, and um, I love it. Y'all know about that. This is Kershaw. Live wire, baby. Live and direct. But nonetheless, this company has decided to attempt to get into the folder game, the manual folder game, and they also invented a new locking system. That's right. So that probably gives it away, but um, we're about to find out. First off, today's unboxing knife. Is it a recent acquisition, one that was in the pocket yesterday for the first time, and one that uh, I wanted to hate, but I love this bitch. Uh, this is the Flytanium Arcade. Uh, granted, the name is really cheesy and corny, and so is their marketing, but this is a great little knife, man. I really have been impressed with it. Cut a ton of shit yesterday. Lightweight, ergonomically friendly. We already know fidget factors there. Solid lockup. Yeah. I can recommend this wholeheartedly. But enough about that. Let's get to the dope. All right. Today's uh, package was sent to me from NC Blade. Great company in its own right. But let's not forget about this guy. You know who he is. Don Farmer, otherwise known as DNK Knives. DNK Knives has got all the dope you need, whether foreign or domestic. And they are now accepting Sizzle. So you can make those irresponsible purchases interest free. Over four payments, I might add. Just be sure to use code KNIFEDOPE for 10% off that purchase. And then once you buy that knife, you got to mod it. Trick it out. Make it your own. Head on over to the GOAT. Original GOAT, that is. Treat yourself. I would. Just be sure to use code FUCKER for 15% off that purchase. Okay, people, the shilling has stopped. Let's get to the dope. All right. Now, um... NC Blade, they they always have a great selection of knives, and they they do like a restock thing similar to what DLT does, where they'll, you know, they'll have a, a tab for for new new arrivals, and then they'll also have a tab for restock. So if you're waiting for a knife to to get back in stock, you can just click that. All right, this is how they roll. Also, what they do on their boxes, they have this little insert here. This is a family owned uh, operation, so you always want to support them. Looks like he's got a good-looking family there. And more importantly, we got candy. Love me some goddamn candy. Be sweet and carry a sharp knife. Goddamn right, people. A little love note thanking me for my business. And a little uh, possible scratch and win situation. We'll do that, too. But more importantly is this. This is Microtech, people. Like I mentioned, primarily they're known for their autos. And by all accounts, there are some great autos, but... I'm not much of an auto guy, but this right here really interested me. I had heard good and bad about it. However, I heard that this was the way to go. The stitch, fluted aluminum handles. Wow, let's take a look at it. I've always loved the look of the stitch. And then once I found out they had it in this manual folder, you know, this was hard to get. They were selling out instantly, but I managed to check the website on Monday after Blade Show West and I snagged one that evening. Now, also, I did make a um, I did make a bold proclamation to my boys in the Blade Cartel. You know, there was some uh, some negative feedback as far as the actual action on the ramlock. So if it's mushy, it's going back. You can see we've got a nice little insert here. Let's see what this is right quick. Uh, I'll make it to where you guys can pause and read if you like. What to say? Follow the action. Same thing on the backside. 
And then in the center, we've got this. Welcome to the Microtech family. Limited lifetime warranty. Be sure to read the small print on shit like this. And I will at a later date. All right. Now I'm excited, y'all. Ooh, shit. Got a new sticker to the collection. This is what it's all about. Oh, she's got some weight, people. Caution. Sharp edge. Well, I would hope so. Oh, man. Look at this fucking thing. Now, there were a couple of different versions to this. But this is the one I had my eye on. This one comes in at $300. The uh, FRN version, I think it's like about $179, something like that. There's a G10 version. I think it's almost the same price, if I'm not mistaken. But in the closed position, we're rocking 4.9 inches. Love these. There's some nice slight contour going on here on these uh, aluminum scales. I think these are solid aluminum, by the way. I don't think there's any liners in here. We'll find out. Folded over stainless steel pocket clip with the Microtech uh, branding right there. Stitch, September 2023. Look at this backspacer. That backspacer means business. Titanium geared backspacer. There's our locking uh, ram lock apparatus right there. Now the knife is deployed via this cutout. And this is the most important part of this video. Let's see if this is mushy. Okay, let's do that one more time. Right back to the house. All right, it's not mushy, man. It's lighter than I would have liked, but that's what you get with most of these uh, spring-loaded locks. But yeah, it's definitely serviceable. Not the worst I felt by any means. But let's talk about this beauty. Look at this thing. She's gorgeous, bro. We're looking at 8.5 inches overall of straight fuck you. That's what this is, straight fuck you. Tell me you would tell me you don't want to be on the tell me you want to be on the other side of that fucking knife. Ain't no way. This is uh geared more towards tactical vibes. Uh this is actually designed by Sebastian Berenji, better known as uh Borker Blades, in conjunction with Tony Marfione. Tony Marfione is uh the legendary owner of Microtech. Now let's talk about early. Look at this finger choil with that nice aggressive jimping on the inside of the choil. I don't think I've ever had one like that for sure. That same jimping there on the spine of the blade. I mean, this is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. We've got a uh, 3.6 inch spear point blade. Now this is some of the controversy too with this with this uh, this whole line of uh, Ramlock knives is the blade steel. Uh, they've, um, they've decided to use a steel that they're calling Bowler M390 MK. Uh, the MK stands for Microtech Knives. And allegedly, it's their own recipe that they requested Bowler to uh, to provide to them. And then, unfortunately, there's been a, a couple of members. Mo more more um, more known would be LTK. Shout out to the to the OG, Mr. Lee. He sent in one of the early drops of the MSI for some uh, HRC testing, and it was very suboptimal. I believe it was like. 56 to 58 somewhere in that range uh which according to the great dr laren thomas is not optimal but also according to the great dr laren thomas just as important is blade geometry and i think they crushed it as far as the blade geometry goes now the weight like i was mentioning this one has got some weight to it 6.6 .6 ounces to be exact i'm totally digging this curvature right here it feels my hand nicely giving me that full purchase, no refund. Still got plenty of ass left. Love a good woman with some ass, right? She's got it covered here. Pocket clip is right or left hand, tip up. They even give us that nice cover plate. Got a lanyard hole for the weirdos. Yeah, I'm loved. Listen to the acoustics. <laughs> She's going to the pocket today. I don't give a fuck. Let's go ahead and put on some knives for some size comparison. Basically a little bit of knife flexing. You know how I like to do. Got to come in strong on this, though. First up, got to have some Spyderco in your life. We're looking at the River's Edge Cutlery Exclusive Spyderco Shaman. And speaking of Spyderco, did you guys see the, uh, the most recent reveal? They got some good ones coming. But nonetheless, up next, got to have a hinderer in here. Oh, look at that American badassery on the screen, people. Appreciate that. Uh, however, that hinderer eclipse is also smaller than the stitch. Let's do a couple more. 
shall we? This next one um, is not American, but it's still a fantastic knife. And that is the most expensive mini roach known to man from Kaiser. Kind of got a uh, similar tactical vibe, similar spear shaped blade, you know, and um, quite a bit smaller than the stitch. Next up, let's bring that price way back up to this beauty. We're looking at the Oz Machine Roosevelt, number 457 to be exact, which is also quite a bit smaller than that stitch. Let's do two mo. God damn it, two mo. Coming in strong on these last two. Favorite knife in the collection. You know it. You've seen it before. We're talking about the McNeese PM Mac 2 3.5 rendition, rocking that gorgeous regrind courtesy of BGM. And that one is also smaller than the stitch. Last but certainly not least, got to have a big mama sighting. We're talking about this one. The Demco AD20, baby. Now, that one is just a bit bigger than the stitch. So, yeah, people, the stitch is real. The legend is real. It's beautiful. Absolutely stunning. You know, it really is. It, it is a little bit heavier than I would have thought, but that's due to these solid, and I mean solid, aluminum scales, aluminum handles. There are no liners to speak of. Let me make sure I'm not lying to y'all. There is a... Uh, Oh, wait a minute. Hold up. There is a liner. Kind of, it kind of goes out at an angle like this. And it, actually, it goes down to about right here. So it goes like, it's at an angle, a little liner in the back. But these are still solid slabs of, tight of um, aluminum nonetheless. Well built. You can feel the premiumness in it. Uh, and let's be real, you know, a all-American made knife with premium materials for 300 bucks. That's doable, you know? I can sign up for that. But more importantly, what do you fuckers think? Are you fans of the Ramlock? Are you fans of Microtech? How about this stitch? Tell me all about it. Love you, mean it. Until the next time. Cut something. Cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers! <laughs>